Hi guys, when MPs appear on TV, they're given a list of talking points by HQ. Rishi Sunak's are quite simple, delivering on the people's priorities and stopping the boats. But while the Conservatives have been in power for 13 years, things have got worse, and instead of fixing problems as they claim to be doing, they are once again blaming everyone else for their own shortcomings. But one MP, a Brexiteer, let's slip that Brexit is part of a list of problems the Tories are having to deal with. Wow, have a listen to this. That is more pain for working people that are already suffering, and they could be acting now, particularly around mortgage support. What we should be seeing is getting lenders being able to switch to, to interest-only rates. They and can to be already able do to, all that. But, and to make lenders wait a minimum of six months well, before this is initiating your, a... Well, Labour yeah, package. I think, uh, I think the government's going to do something similar. Well, uh, Martin Lewis has said, has said quite clearly that he hopes that the government takes on the right. package of measures. Well, but quite frankly, we are constantly having to tidy up your mess and people are fed up with it. I think that's a ridiculous statement after your last Chancellor, when I mean, you were in power, you sold off all the gold years. and you've left had, us a note saying there was no money left. Years and the, the, the note about no money left was a joke. Of course that there is money left. It was a joke. Obviously, he knows it was a joke, but he wants the public to, to be convinced that it wasn't a joke. We had five, years of, we, we had five years of austerity to put your mess right. Five years of austerity to put your mess right. You made people poorer. Every economist, every reasonable economist has said that austerity was a mistake. That's what's happened. Then obviously we came into the government in 2015 when I was trying to, to get things where we want them to be. And obviously we've had Brexit, we've had Covid and we've had a war in Ukraine. So I think to say that you're... <laughs> there we, have, we had Brexit, we had Covid and we had the war in Ukraine. All of these things are a problem. But isn't Brexit supposed to be boosting the economy? Isn't Brexit supposed to be a success? Boris Johnson got Brexit done. You know, the argument was to, well, we need to leave the European Union in order to boost the economy. And he's saying here, Brexit, the pandemic and the war in Ukraine are pretty much on, a, on an even, even footing. Wow. So we, have, we finally have a Brexit here admitting that Brexit was a problem and that Brexit needs to be fixed in some way or needs to be dealt with. Well, are the Tories going to deal with Brexit? Well, no, because they're, some of them are claiming that it has been a success. Some of them are claiming that Boris Johnson got it done. So <laughs> to come out and say, yes, Brexit is a problem. Well, perhaps we should commend him for that. Finally, a bit of honesty. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think about all of this? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.